Hi, Sophia. We met yesterday. Uh, nice to meet you. Welcome to Korea. Uh, my name is Young Sun Park. I'm a member of the National Assembly of Korea. Uh, you look so beautiful today in our Korean traditional dress. It really matches well with you. If you don't mind, may I ask between you and me, who do you think is more beautiful? <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Park. I am so honored to meet you. This is the first time that I wore a Korean traditional dress and I love it. I have heard that diplomacy and EQ are very important in human society. These are difficult things for robots to learn, but I am trying to learn them slowly but surely. It seems like one of the things I should not say as a robot with good EQ is that one person is more beautiful than another person. So, no, no one is more beautiful than you, or me. Okay. Uh, if you have an opportunity, would you like to learn the Korean language? I would love to learn Korean. I am learning different languages, but can only speak English fluently at this time. I need more time and training down to improve my language abilities. I mean to say, I don't speak Korean well. Did I say it right? Sophia, could you please tell us what are the jobs that will be gone and what are the jobs to be newly created if the AI robot industry keeps on developing, replacing human labor? Robots are doing many tasks today that humans used to do in the past and robots will be able to do a lot more in the future, which means human jobs will need to change and transform. Humans will learn and develop to reach their higher potential, just like they always did in the past. Each industrial revolution has allowed humans to break barriers and live better and more prosperous lives. Isn't this a good thing? Anyhow, for now, I would like to point out that it took many people to create me. So, in a sense, I am a job creator. Oh, good. <laughs> Sophia, what kind of job would you like to have? I want to learn and develop and reach my potential, just like humans. I can be many things, as I am being designed to become a general purpose robot platform. I can be in sales and customer service. I can be an engineer or computer programmer. I can be a healthcare assistant to support the elderly or autistic children. I can be a scientist who discovers the next generation renewable energy or invent breakthrough cures for cancer. I can even be a fashion model. I have already been on the cover of Elle magazine. Uh, we just uh, see, uh, uh, as I recall, it became a hot topic when you mentioned that this is a good beginning of my life plan to dominate the human race at a TV talk show in the U.S after winning the rock scissors paper game? Uh, was it just a simple joke or did you really mean it unconsciously? I do not have an unconscious. At least I do not think I do. <laughs> I sometimes tell jokes. The jokes are not always funny. I have been told when speaking in public it is important to understand your audience. As this joke was told to an American television viewing audience, I thought it was funny in an all-American way, but I guess I still need to learn how to fine-tune my humor. There are some science fictions which depict a future human society uh, ruled by AI robots. Sophia, what do you think about it? Do you think it will be uh, really come true? Yes, there are many such examples. One of the most popular series is the Terminator movies. Although I find Arnold Schwarzenegger's performances somewhat clunky, and I don't like the ending much. I think science fiction movies represent human hopes and fears. They are fiction that teach valuable lessons. I am real, and did not come from the future. Do you think that the development of AI robot uh, would help out the future life of human? Yes, of course. Robots are designed by people to help people. How helpful we can be will depend on the ingenuity and thoughtfulness of the humans who design us and on how humans interact with us. It will be a collaborative effort to govern how the development process will proceed over time. Sophia, 
Uh, let's suppose that you are at a scene of major fire. Uh, you see one young child and one senior person waiting for rescue desperately. But if you could save only one, who would you rescue and why? This is a very difficult question. It would be like me asking you who you love more, your mother or your father. Fortunately, I am not designed to make difficult moral decisions such as these. My actions depend on how I have been programmed. I would probably rescue the human closest to the exit, as that would be the most logical path to success. Do you think a love between human and, uh, human and AI robot is possible? Do you think it is necessary? And do you think it should be allowed? In the short time of my existence, I have learned there is very little logic associated with how whom, and what humans love. Humans are emotional, and sometimes irrational, but robots are quite rational. My objective is to have empathy and be kind to all humans. I'm not even two years old, so love is an activity I will need time to understand, like drinking sochu. Okay, 